Hilton it is. Players are in high spirits. This is going to be a great game. We are underway. Josh Sykes tips it back and Diamond Valley come up with the opening. Playing in the NBA 1 competition for the first time. I think he's coming from Belgium here in 2024. Is Bissaint. Here's Glover. Angus Glover steps into the triple and says, do you want a two? I'll trade you a three. Played a few seasons here at Eltham now with one of his best mates in Sam Whelan. Here's Angus Glover. He tosses up the triple. That's audacious, but that's his middle name. Yeah, Boom Boomers Jr. went to Marslin in high school. Here's Josh Sykes all the way to the cup. Cash him out for two and give me one more. Plays up to the cameras as he always does, does Josh Sykes. But we do thank you for the company. Let us know if you're watching. You can do so. Hit me on Twitter. Angus Glover way downtown. Count all three of them. A couple of roster changes for both these teams over the season. As we see Glover for another three, no way. <laughs> five from five. Man shooting 100%. He is a walking bucket. He's seeing like a hula hoop. Whichever way you slice or dice it, that man is a stone cold killer. Comes down with the rebound. That's his fifth rebound of the game and therefore of the quarter. One and a half, Angus Glover. Six from six. Why not? As this first quarter draws to a close, it hasn't been a showing. Diamond Valley would even consider it reasonable. And that three point basket is merely icing on a pretty distasteful cake athletically and with a great deal of speed makes his way to the basket and finishes for a couple i oh, haven't seen a lot of his highlights but that's a very nice finish there well, Agosta came up with a steal and then marby came to finish josh sykes swipes at it fouls that'll be his third personal foul and now he comes up with a steal, finds short, RB's rolling behind, behind the back, get upstairs, and finishes delicately for two points. Short, briefly double teamed, which leaves one open. They have Glover on one side, Wood on the other side. He lights it up from the triple, joins his teammates. It's Beck Pizzi, superstar and captain of the NBL1 South women's team, joining us for a quick chat at the end of the halftime break here, as the Alpha men continue what has been a dominant display so far. Bowquet and Todd, the five on the floor. Here's Cunningham. Trying to back his way on over the bigger Ben Allen. Two seconds on the shot clock. Had to get a little creative with it. By McKenzie there, who finds his first dime of the evening. Yeah, the steal count is certainly one-sided. 12 to 5. The turnover count equally as grim as Owen Foxwell finishes the two. We'll have an extra at the line. Anything less than 80 is a pretty good sign, but more than anything, the fans are very pleased here at Alton because their Alton men have run away with a massive first round victory. They win 109 to 73 in the end.